Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would do a different kind of video. I don't think I've ever done one of these. But anyway, I'm going to be doing what's in my bag, uh, what's in my purse, what I'm carrying. And um, I don't know, I thought maybe it might be kind of fun. I like watching these kind of videos um, to see how people utilize the different um, accessories that they may have and what bag they're carrying. So um, we're going to get started and let me show you first what bag I'm going to be showing you what I'm carrying right now. Right now I am carrying, let me put it over here so it's in frame. I'm carrying my uh, Louis Vuitton Petite Noé. Um, this is the older model. This is a um, vintage piece that I bought pre-loved off of Etsy, I'm pretty sure. And um, this little slider piece right here was purchased from Etsy also. So that's something that is not, this is not original Louis Vuitton piece. It's made out of Louis Vuitton material out of from a old bag or whatever, but it's not something that Louis Vuitton sells. So anyway, I am carrying my Petite Noé, and on the side here, I have a charm. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. Pull that up. I have this little, um, it's actually a um, keychain, I do believe, but I'm using it as a bag charm, and it came from Coach, from the Coach factory outlet two years ago, I guess. And it's just a solid brown on this side. And then on this side, it has the coach motif. And then this little girl on here that is carrying a coach bag. And it looks like she may be doing a little shopping or out about on the town. You know, I just thought that was really cute. It has the pink in it. And I thought it would look really cute with the monogram um, canvas. So that is what is on there. So, and let me show you, let me get that stand up. Let me show you what my bag looks like before I start pulling everything out. And it looks like that there. Hopefully you can see all that. I'm trying to, there. So that is what it all looks like when it's all packed in there. I do have a um, purse organizer in there, but I don't remember the brand of it. But probably once I get everything out of here, I can probably tell you. So um, let's just start here. The first thing I have are is my sun, not my sunglasses, my eyeglasses um, that I have in here. These are eyeglasses that I am supposed to wear every day um, and I do. It's just when I'm filming, I can't have them on because my ring light leaves a little glare on there. So I don't wear them on film, on camera, but this is what they look like on. So this is my, my glasses. Um, I do have the um, no line bifocal on them and because I did not want, I didn't want everybody to know that I have to have bifocals. So they have the no line on them. But anyway, and then the next thing that I pull out is my agenda in the PM. And this is in the monogram canvas. Um, this was purchased pre-loved. I can't remember if I got this off of eBay. No, I got this off of McCary. Yes, I got this off of McCary. Um, I will say with McCary, be very careful because there's a lot of fakes on that website. Um, so you have to really do your due diligence on making sure that whatever you're purchasing is an authentic item. But I do have my little PM agenda and I mainly use the calendar that looks like this here where it's every single day and jot little things down that I know is going to be happening for the upcoming month or months and then that way I can um, transport the this information into my big agenda that I don't carry in my bag because it's too big. 
I um, have a couple of checks that I forgot to deposit yesterday. Went specifically to go to the bank and drove right on past and forgot to deposit them. <laughs> anyway, and um, then I have some blotting papers from Honest Beauty. Um, I mainly use these during the summer. I, it's probably been the last time that I've had to use them. But they're good to have just in case. And then in this main pocket, then I have this little pouch here. This is from Benefit. It was in a purchase I made. It had a whole bunch of different things in it. I think it was some, was it eyebrow stuff? I don't remember. But anyway, it was a kit that I got when I was in Vegas. <clears throat> and so I have in it... I have a power pack or power battery for my iPhone and some clippers, some big giant clippers. I've been meaning to take these out and put some smaller ones in here. And it looks like I have a random dime. <laughs> I don't know why. And then some, um, some Azo pills because I have a lot of issues with getting bladder infections and kidney infections and I always have one some of those on hand just in case. If you've ever had a bladder infection you know how painful that is and I keep those on hand at all times just to make sure There's another random check that needs to be deposited. Okay, then I have uh, my pack of gum, and this is the Orbit, um, ba -da -da -da, the Sweet Spearmint, I think is what this is called, and I like having a pack of gum, yeah, Spearmint. I have to keep this hid, though, from my little grandson, because he will get it and chew the whole pack. <laughs> then I have... Um, my little round um, zip coin purse from Louis Vuitton. This is a new purchase. I just purchased this back during the summer when I was in Vegas. Um, right now, I don't have anything in it, but I do use it for coins. Then I have my little toiletry, toiletry bag um, 15. And in it, I use this as kind of a little catch-all. And that's what this stuff looks looks like in there but basically I have in here I have I carry this with me this is a little um, project school project um, essay that's what it is it's an essay that my daughter wrote um, in 2010 January 5th of 2010 for English and um, it's hysterical um, she um, does a little recap or recount uh, some of the um, family vacations and I mean I carry it around I let a lot of people read it because it is so funny but anyway so I have that and then I have my little notebook here which I probably could transfer this information into my little PM book but whenever we travel I carry a smaller handbag that my agenda won't fit into but anyway I like to have in here is pretty much a inventory, so to speak, of the different uh, makeup that I have. Like this is my Tom Ford quads, all the quads that I have. So if I go to, mainly when I go to Branson, if I go to the um, outlet store, the company cosmetic outlet store, I don't want to repurchase something I already have. So I have some lists here of what I have. Course it's not everything but anyway and then the other thing that I have in here that I like to keep is um, my list of JD Rob books that I have because I, there's certain ones that I'm looking to add into my collection and I want to make sure that I don't purchase one that I already have so that's pretty much what's in that little notebook and this was oh my husband got this at a, um, a water class so for his water license, he has to go to water school every year. So, um, and they have all these different suppliers that show up there and um, give them out free stuff. And he brings home a bag full of just junk. 
junk. Anyway, um, oh, this is a list of the balloon inventory that we have at our store. And then this is um, a list of, I don't know what that was. So, um, what is this? This looks like a receipt. A receipt from Ross. This was, um, this could actually go in the trash because this was for Christmas. This was a Christmas receipt. I always keep my receipts from Christmas until after Christmas so that way if anything that I gave, if they want to exchange it or take it back, then I have the receipt and they don't have to go through the hassle of trying to return something without a receipt. So here's another one from TJ Maxx, looks like. Yeah, that can go trash. And then I have on this little ring here, all of my reward cards. Um, have my library card. My Homeland card, which is grocery store. Um, here's my Sephora card. You get the drift, my Walgreens. I just find it's easier just to keep it on this little ring and that way they're easy to get. What else do I have in here? Oh, these probably need to go in the trash. These are some um, passes to Silver Dollar City that have expired, so those need to go in the trash. And then some reward cards um, from the outlet mall for the legs, the Hanes, the Bally outlet store where you spend, every time you spend, you get a stamp. Then once you get all these stamped, then you get a discount. Have that. And then, gosh, I didn't realize I had so much stuff in here. I have a spare key to the post office box. I have a spare refill for an ink pen. And then I have some pictures of my daughter, some senior pictures from her. My little picture thingy is like coming apart. <laughs> like there's, <laughs> yeah, I probably need a new one of those. I've had that for a long time. So that is what is in that little pouch. Okay, the next thing I have is my Demi Urban um, cosmetic case. I did purchase this pre-loved um, when, when I was in August. When I was in Vegas in August at Dillard's, they were doing some kind of event where they had Louis Vuitton. And so this is what this bag looks like, full of stuff. Oh boy. I have a By Terry lip gloss, or lip balm, I guess. It's that rose lip balm. Then I have a lipstick from Urban Decay, a It Cosmetics lip pencil, a Tom Ford lipstick, a Chanel lipstick, Oops. a um, NARS lipstick, A buxom lip gloss. I think this is one that I just um, did a haul on. A little baby buxom lipstick. A little small Sephora lipstick. A Burberry baby lipstick. <laughs> Another baby um, bite lipstick and this has a, a lip color on each end. And another lip liner from Buxom. This is a new one. A little baby mini um, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Another little baby mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Another little baby mini lipstick from Hourglass. And then I have my little um, duckbill clips that I use in my hair every morning while it's drying. I just kind of put these in sporadically to kind of help 
hold the hair out a little bit and get some airflow and plus it helps give me a little bit of volume. So that is what is in that. I'm not going to pair everything back because this is going to be a long video. I've got a lot of stuff in here. Then I have my little pocket organizer. Um, again, I purchased this um, back in August. And I do have a, do I have a review video of this? No, I don't. Anyway, I'll start to say I have a review video. But anyway, in it, I have some of my backup credit cards and my passport this little um, it's the passport that looks like a credit card or not a credit card but a driver's license and um, I have my Sam's card I have a gift card Fandango gift card in there and some more just little backup credit cards. I'm not going to pull all those out, but anyway, so that's what in there. This has a pocket here, but I don't put anything in that little pocket because I don't want to stretch it out. Let's see. Then I have um, this little red case that I have my um, business cards in for the um, antique store that I own. So I have my business cards in there. And this little case here I got from Henry Bindle. And had it monogrammed with my initials. Also have this little key pouch coin purse from Coach. Again, purchased at the outlet store. And on it, I have um, keys to one of our pawn shops. And for some reason, I have a random battery in there and a random button. What else do I have in here? And that looks like that's all in that little um, pouch. And it has two different little slots on each side there. Hmm. Some of the things that you find when you're actually, you know, telling someone what you have, you're just like, why do I have that? Then I have an ink pen. This was from the November Planner Society um, Planner Kit. And it's just a little ink pen. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you take the lid off, the lid doesn't go on the end here. So I'm afraid I'm going to lose the lid. But I have that. Then I have a little case, empty case, that has normally my SD card in it, but it is in my camera. Then I have a bracelet, my Tiffany, Return to Tiffany bracelet here. Some more blotting sheets. These are from, I don't know who these were from. Who are these from? I don't remember. And it's in Korean. Where did I get them from? I, I don't remember. But anyway, it has some blotting sheets. I don't even know what brand they are. And then... Down here, I have some more batteries. I have some triple or double A batteries. I have four of those. <laughs> mm, then I have a envelope here with some notes on it because my cell phone account was hacked one day last week and someone ordered two iPhone X, iPhone 10, iPhone X, whatever they were on my account so I have all that information from where I had to cancel that and get all that taken care of. Then I have also a little round coin purse, zip purse from Henry Bindle and in it I carry my little charging cord for my iPhone. So that is in there. And down at the bottom here, I have um, some movie ticket stubs. We went and seen, what movie was this from? Insidious, the key, I think is what it was called. That was dumb. Don't go see it. Um, I am the world's worst to take to a scary movie because I will sit with my eyes shut during the whole movie, but that was, it was not scary. And then what is this for? 
Oh, this is where I purchased a vintage record rack to hold some vintage records that I have. So at an antique place. And then I have a Band-Aid. Um, I use these for my compression therapy on my finger. There is a nickel down there in the bottom. And the um, organizer that I have in here is a um, Samora from the brand Sam Samorga. Yeah, Samorga. And um, it just looks like that there. I don't really use this pocket right here. It's supposed to be for like a water bottle or something, but I don't ever use that pocket for that. So most of the time it's just smashed down like that with my stuff in there. And then in the very bottom is a random paper clip. And then I have my wallet here. And I do have a review of this wallet that I do know that I have. So, and in here is the main credit cards and my ID that I use. This does have initials on it. Um, I did buy it pre-loved. Those are not my initials, but I am not taking those off. It doesn't bother me that those are there. I do carry my cash in here and it looks like there are some more receipts in here too. Yeah, there's some more receipts in there. I'll have to go through those. And then I do have a bunch of coins in there. I do keep coins in there. I need to empty that out, actually, while I'm here. I can put those in my piggy bank. But that is what's in my wallet. Okay, so now the bag is completely empty. So that, my friends, is what's in my bag. That took a long time. <laughs> I didn't realize when you start looking at it, you're like, I have a lot of stuff. I need to get rid of a lot of that stuff. Like a lot of those lipsticks I need to take out of there. Anyway, so that is it. I hope that you have enjoyed. Um, don't forget to subscribe and also to click on the bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos. I do post on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And again, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.